Well, good evening, everyone. On behalf of the Livonia Arts Commission, we would like to welcome all our artists, guests, and dignitaries to the 24th Annual Fine Arts Exhibition Reception. This evening, we are honored to recognize all of the talented artists' work chosen on display in our gallery. I'm Grace Karczewski, Livonia Arts Commissioner, Director of the Fine Arts Exhibition, and your host this evening. To begin, I would like to introduce the members of the Livonia Arts Commission. Please stand and hold applause until I introduce all of you. Our chairperson is Brian Duggan, Virginia Bozak, Joe Gilligan, Richard Kent, Patrice Mang, Helen Moore, Carrie Sperling, Dan Sperling, Jerry Valentine, Pam Valentine, James Sirkew, Lindsay Spence, and our liaison is Billy Keppen. Thank you very much. Without their help, this reception would not be possible. I would also like to, recommend, uh, to recognize the city officials in attendance this evening. We have from City Council Kathleen McIntyre and our, um, our representative for the mayor is LaShawn Thomas, Director of Government Relations, Community Outreach. <laughs> Finally, we're going to our awards. We had so many fine works of art from across Michigan. Our juror this year is Mr. Robert Maniscalco, who has been a professional creative his entire life. A native of Detroit, Michigan, his commissioned portraits, landscapes, and fine art are part of over a thousand collections throughout North America. Robert has hosted a program called Art Beat on PBS and founded the Maniscalco Gallery. As a gallerist, Robert has exhibited multiple, multiple visual art forms, enjoys and encourages a diversity of expression. Robert has presented workshops on the power of positive painting. Robert has been an adjunct professor teaching drawing and painting at Charleston Southern University, Charleston, South Carolina, and drawing illustration at College for Creative Studies in Detroit, Michigan. Robert is also a professional actor, writer on the arts, playwright, musician, composer, and teacher. Unfortunately, this evening, Robert was unable to attend, but he left his creative comments on each of our winners. He also left comments on our exhibition, which I will share with you right now. The diversity of the approaches and styles in the show says a lot about Michigan artists. Here are many technically excellent works, many expressive works, and a few with all, the, all plus non-quantifiable, visceral, emotional impact. As artists, we aspire to say something about the subject that needs to be said and hasn't been said quite in this way. I felt an emotional pull with the number of works in the show. My criteria as a juror was to choose based on how well the artist mastered the universe they intended to create. How effective was the artist in realizing their intention? In some works we finished, were finished, but some technical issues remained unresolved. Small errors in value, edge, quality, color, harmony, draftsmanship can undermine the best intended work. For instance, if light is a part of the universe of the picture, then the relationship of values must be clear. But overall, the caliber of the work was more in keeping with the higher stands of standards of a national show. I have a great admiration for artists who are brave enough to put their work out there and was happy I could include at least one piece by every artist who submitted. Congratulations to all those intrepid artists on, the, on a great show this year. At this time, I would like Brian Duggan to come up, our chairperson, to come up and give out the awards. In your, when your name is called, please come up in front and receive your award. I will give the comments that the uh, jurist gave me uh, before I give the award. We will start with our honorable mention. This work is a delicious restrained composition. The grays and greens are completed by a trace of burgundy color in the flowers. 
This color also finds a subtle way of unlikely places within the greenery. And in the floor, the Vermeer-like edge quality is both commendable and effective. This work is called Iris and Calla Lilies by Tim O'Keefe. Congratulations. Congratulations. The next honorable mention is a portrait very sensitively rendered and captures the beauty of the young lady lost in her daydreams. The color balance between oranges and muted greens and lavenders in the background, which also can be harmonizing in her cloak, hair, and skin. This is La Histi Hascalco by Susan Parrish. She's not here. Congratulations, Susan. Um, the next work is um, another honorable mention. Um, Robert enjoyed the combination of spontaneity and control, each vying for dominance, just as the hummingbirds are vying for nectar. Robert liked the way the composition is trying to escape from the confines, as if to say we all want to be free. This work is Jubilation by Linda Bedard. Congratulations. The, the final honorable mention was the feeling of concentration and nerve. The tenacity of standing and playing proudly is captured beautifully, even as the bold colors in the background attempt to steal our focus. This work is called Strings of Spring by Robert Parrish. Congratulations. The Award of Merit. This award is technical merit, which I would ordinarily award to a master painter. But isn't this collage masterful as it captures the light in the city? The separation between light <clears throat> and shadow, subtle gradations and half tones demonstrate the great painterly authority. This goes to Chicago Morning by Rose Starkey. Congratulations. The Mayor's Choice Award. Oh, she's coming. I'm sorry. <laughs> I beg your pardon. Oh, Rosemary. We're new at this. Um, did I already do this award of merit? The Mayor's Choice Award has intense reds and oranges set in a perfect contents as context as a cool light comes from above suddenly. The lavender through the distant doorway creates mystery as it is repeated in the unexpected places creating a wonderful balance of color. Both figures have had unique point of view, even as though they are losing themselves and their individuality. This is called Into the Light by Vasu Tobia. Congratulations. Congratulations. The next award is the juror's choice. It captures the feeling of family, in this case, family of horses, even as it satisfies our desire to feel color in light. The technical skills exhibited are exceptional. 
The time of year, the time of day, humidity, and light conditions are captured deftly, even as the style is loose in spontaneity, creating an urgency that is part of the emotional impact, which is, this one is called Family by Linda Pulowski. Congratulations. Third place award is not to be missed. Lurking in the shadows, a tired man wonders what all means. Indeed, his life story is told beautifully in his face. The technical skill and mastery are museum quality. The feelings and emotions are deep. We are invited to empathize with the subject. This is called Life Story by Susan Parrish. Congratulations. Okay, second place. Robert just returned from Paris, London, and Amsterdam. This painting looks like it was stolen from one of the great museums I visited. The expressive quality, this piece is off the charts. We wonder what she's feeling, and more important, it makes me wonder what I am feeling as I look at this piece. The brushwork and the coloring and is delicious, and the modeling and subtle color in the skin is mesmerizing. This is called Disenchanted by Katherine Hetherington. Congratulations. Finally, our best of show. It is an undeniable sto showstopper. It is impossible not to be swept up in the interactions between family of snow leopards. The medicalistness of the fur and the colorations all arranged into a grand triangular composition. It is deeply captivating expressionism. The faces are very telling. Each has a unique point of view that keeps us endlessly engaged. This is called The Himalayan Matriarch by Derwood Coffrey. Congratulations. We have one more. Here it is. So it just ad -libbed. Okay. <laughs> we had the um, Commissioner's Choice Award, and that one had the skyline of um, the Detroit skyline, and that is awarded to Chuck Schroeder for Saginaw. The Bonia <laughs> Skyline, yes. <laughs> and congratulations to all of our artists who were accepted into the show this year. Thank you to Robert Maniscalco for making our exhibition a success. We were honored that you were our jurist this year. All winners, please sign your paperwork and turn it into Billy Keppen. Billy, raise your hand. And um, before the end of the evening. This will conclude the 24th Annual Fine Arts Exhibition. And don't forget, to, when you go upstairs to pick up a program in the gallery, and they are available as you walk in, please stay, enjoy our delicious food, drinks, tour our gallery, and enjoy the remainder of your evening with us this evening. And congratulations again to all of the artists in our Fine Arts Exhibition. Thank you. Thank you.